So I decided that instead of doing the spooky box like in front of a camera, I'd do it with everybody and we could just open presents together. So we're not having a deep video. We're not having a deep video. We're having an unboxing video live so we can share presents, which I thought might be fun and silly because it's been a heavy kind of week in the world again. <laughs> And we've had heavy conversations. We've got some heavy conversations coming on Thursday. I have Miss Chris with me because she owns half the channel. Hello. You know <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I don't know what that, that was creepy. Don't do that again. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, I will announce before we start the spooky box, and I'll tell you what that's about in case you guys don't know, um, that on Thursday, me and Chris are doing a chat and we've changed the subject. We were going to do like um, spirit vessels, which we'll still do in the future, but we've decided that this week particularly, we're going to talk about imposter syndrome and how that relates to spirituality. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about my face? Oh, she loves my face too. Okay. No, she, she said she loves you too, but she just loves my face. The rest of me is screwed, but she loves my face. <laughs> Chop liver, the rest of you. <laughs> Two in one. Oh, we always do at least well, three. two. I guess three. This is three the third one. This is the third one. Hi, everybody in chat. So, Spooky Birds Club, if you don't know, is a gothic, witchy, fun subscription service. And I do this every month. And it's basically something fun and silly and light. And it's we're basically opening presents together live on chat. We'll talk about each thing. We'll see who likes it. We'll see who don't like it. Because I'm not going to lie on these. Some people do the unboxing and they're like, oh my God, I love everything. And I'm like, if I don't like it, I'll be like, meh. Better luck next month. But print, the Spooky Box Club people are pretty good. They're UK based. They donate quite a bit to the charity and so on and so forth. You need to make an Asbjorn unbox. Uh, nudes dude. Someone somewhere has already nudes done dude. <laughs> Nudes to all your fanboys, just saying. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Okay. So, this month's box is called Elegant Fripperies. I have no idea what we're in for, but elegant is the key word. So, we'll find out together whether or not it's elegant <laughs> and it's coming up against my standards of elegance so it might be i don't know <laughs> so we open the box it's worms. exciting this exciting this worms Where hey, plant frappuccino is what magpie said <laughs> is is that is that what elegant is eggplant frappuccino <laughs> oh oh okay I'm in trouble already. The first thing is 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 like a collar. <laughs> the, first, the first thing is a collar. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm gonna get all the pervy comments now. Go, come on, chat. I want your pervious collar collar chat. Go. Oh, it's velvet as well. Oh dear. Oh, and it laces up and everything. <laughs> Spooky box club. Shall we try it on? That's pretty. It's really pretty. It's tied quite tightly. Hang on. This could be interesting on live chat. We see how <laughs> clumsy Joey is in, in real life. I managed to hide it pretty well on camera, but <laughs> when it's live, it's like, oh no, <laughs> the clumsiness is real. Oh no, 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 come on. I know it's ribbon. It's hard. Come on, come on, little thing. I just, I just want to put my collar on. <laughs> Laura's like, that collar is actually for when you visit Chris's dungeon. <laughs> oh, I have a special one for that with like Wolfie's bitch written on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the mind wanders. I like that you were like, go ahead, chat, make your dirtiest remarks. And <laughs> Nobody did. And just yell balls. <laughs> <laughs> My man enjoys me getting new collars for sexy, I mean, special events. You mean sexy events, don't you? you we're in this yeah. live chat. You're in this live chat. Let's not Please lie. Me. Let's not lie. Okay, <laughs> this could be interesting given I've got headphones on. Hang on, I'll have to take my headphones off for a minute so I can't hear what Chris is yelling at me. Hang on. You make balls. 
You make balls. <laughs> she heard that. <laughs> I, f I feel uh -huh. like that head story of Headless Mary. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel this is uh, an this easy... This seems really thing. involved. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm doing this all like without being able to see myself. Oh, 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 there we go. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? I feel like this is really involved. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we feel like the ball thing has now become like I'm basically a madam of spiritual goods? Is that, is that what we feel? We we've gotten to or maybe it's the other way around maybe it's just supposed to be that's like, what i was thinking is maybe that's the back maybe, yeah maybe it's just like because i feel like it would be very uncomfortable to have it laced in the front like that mm, what do we think what do we think i like it around the back i'll leave it on <gasps> oh no oh my god i love it i love it i love it hang on <laughs> I love chris should like this too hang on it's like a little graveyard plaque, like a wooden Ooh. graveyard plaque. DIY jewelry that. hanger. Oh, okay, so there's probably, yeah, there's hooks and, and things in here too. Down. And then you can put hooks on and then hook your jewelry oh, on. Nice. And it's like gravestones. I wouldn't use it as a jewelry hanger. I'd probably just use it as like a, like a decoration on the windowsill or something, because that's really cool. That's really cool. There's not much in this one, actually. This you know what you can hang on that, Joey? <clears throat> balls yes are you saying i should hang my balls on dead tombstones is always we'll get into trouble so then there's the lollipop which i don't ever eat so <laughs> but you know <laughs> moving swiftly on from that what does that have to do with elegance um they do the lollipop every month no matter oh, what okay. it is so there's always a there's I always a lollipop that. Either way, it looks good on me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I do like it around the back. We like, like that. it. Oh, Chris. What? Are you ready for the synchronicity? Oh, boy. There's a lot of it lately. So, you know how Chris is on this live chat with me? And each month you get a pin in, mm -hmm. in the spooky box. Death Head Moth <gasps> pin. You mean, like, I'm scraping it off. There we go. Like this one, right there, that little guy. Mm -hmm. That the Joey sent Chris. <laughs> yeah. We always need a place for your balls, always. <laughs> so that's <laughs> awesome. I can't, but that's so, so weird that you're on the chat with me and it's, it's a, a bloody- It's a new meaning to, you know, Balls to the wall. Oh, balls ah, to the wall. I ah, like it. But um, uh, we oh, already match. I already have that same pin, and I bought myself one, yes. and I bought Chris one. So now I have two. <laughs> okay. She also got the Lily or the Lily monster that you guys see in the back too. Because <gasps> I adore Lily. Oh, Chris is gonna like this one too. I oh oh oh, I love it. Can't just it. I keep saying oh, I can, I can, good. I can. It's that kind of live chat. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a skull pendant. That is awesome. That is really nice. I would, I would wear this one. Wait, is that hollow underneath? Yeah. Fuck yes, you can make it into a bell. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Sorry, I'm excited. Okay, yes. Uh, no, that's I like that. I like that a lot. That's it's cool. so pretty. I love the spooky box. It's so good. It's quite heavy actually for a necklace. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's interesting. That's, that's, in, that's interesting. I'm not sure how this is elegant, but it's kind of are they stickers or are they just oh no. Okay, so they they do a it's like a mini poster, but it's kind of flimsy, so I end up sticking it on like my notebooks every month. And this one is like crystals and gemstones, hmm. which is which is kind of pretty, but I don't know that it fits with the rest of the theme. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we have two things, three things. Oh well, one thing I don't care about. Okay, so they every month they do like a little charm that goes on their charm bracelet, but the little charm bracelet was so cheap, and I was like, no, whatever, I don't care about it. <laughs> 
because I'm really fussy about charm bracelets. My grandmother had a proper sterling silver thing, and I grew up looking at this thing my grandmother had, and it had like loads and loads and loads of chains. So I see like these yeah. tiny little cheap things, and I'm like, no. And so like the little black charm to go on there. Oh yeah. Thing, it's it's. I used to have some uh, some garnet earrings that looked like that. Yeah. Oh, well, that one I like better. That one can go on my keychain because there's actually two, but this one can go on my keychain. So this one is a little rose, like a teeny tiny little rose. But that's that's, that's kind of cute. cute. That's cute. I just, yeah, it's a bit empty because there's only one more thing in this box. Wow, it's a bit empty this month. It was all <laughs> on like jewelry. It's another necklace in here. See, if it was me and the theme was elegant frippery, I'd have done lace gloves. Would you not have done like lace gloves yeah. for like elegance or something? And you don't have to spend that much to get some in here. So the last one is bone daddy. It's a bone. Ah, oh, you oh. match mine. I match you. It. You're like the silver version of mine now. So this is utterly creepy this, <laughs> this month then, because we've got the death head moth and now I have a bone necklace yeah, just like yours. Great. This is a little bit creepy. <laughs> Synchronistic rose, yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's kind of it for this box. So I thought maybe we'd just have a little chat. Should we just have a little chat chat? Because that's kind of like what? That. We've done like five, five, ten minutes because there's not that much in this box, so. Yeah, I really feel like that wasn't a whole yeah, lot. It wasn't this, it I mean, is. I like the jewelry a lot. Like the, the, the three yeah. necklaces, but three necklaces is a bit odd. Why wouldn't you do like a ring or? I, I mean, are they all the same length as well? You have a choker. A, no, like the the, these these two are the same length. The, the scu I mean, you could wear these together. See, like quite you gotta easily. layer it, man. You yeah. gotta layer it. Like you've got the choker, you that that one. Now they need like a really long one. Yeah. Because oh. otherwise, I'm like, I don't have that many necks. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Absolutely. it's okay. But we can sit and have a chat, can't we, chat? We can sit and have a chat. How is everybody? How is everybody? I love the skull necklace. Should we talk about some like goth fashion bits and pieces? How about that? Seeing as this is kind of what we're doing and Chris, Chris likes her goth ick clothing and so do I. Yes. We could do that or we could just chat about, I would crochet, crochet you some lace gloves if it weren't for glaring obstacles stopping you. There, there, there are glaring obstacles stopping me. Stopping oh, stopping. stopping you. I was like, stop. Do I have no hands? Yeah. What what happened? <laughs> right, I was like, what did you do your hands, what, did we, what do we do? <laughs> so I can just sit Why? And... Why can't I wear gloves? <laughs> My big fat hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these damn craft, these damn witchcraft hands. The fire keeps just shooting out of the top You're of so, them. No, from spell casting. <laughs> I can't do more. Oh. Oh, that's not, it wasn't bad. This, it wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't bad this month. It wasn't as good as the. It wasn't as good as the spell casting one. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's pop that the box down there for the minute, then, so I'm not knocking things over. because yeah. I will. Okay, I'm gonna leave my leave my choke. <laughs> my choke has kind of come loose. This is this is this, this is, is not, not not so not so good. Hang it's on. It's not so much a choker, is it? <laughs> You're not it's doing your job. Like, Chris is not impressed. You know you failed yeah. when the choker is not, not impressed with Chris. the choker. <laughs> Chopped hands, that's uber goth. I'm not I'm not sure that's a goth thing. <laughs> so much as, you know, inconvenience. <laughs> Let's have a look what we've got in the chat. I love the skull necklace. Me too, me too. I can't wear gloves, fingers too long, fingerless gloves, yes. I've got quite square, like earth hands. I've got quite square hands, yeah, and that's too. a problem for gloves and things. Because they're often Everyone hold your hands up. We can't see you guys. Hold but... your hands yeah. up. Joey and I have similar hands, like the wide palm, short finger. Yeah, yeah, earth hands. Yeah. It's why I don't wear rings, man. <laughs> well, I have, like, no. My my wedding ring. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I I have no rings. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I've got square hands too, says Abby. Woo! Good, because fingerless ones are the only ones I can make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Cool. What else have we got? Yeah, <laughs> someone put up the freeze. <laughs> the little thing. Yours, yours are vain and full of ink. Your finger, <laughs> your hands. I know. I like the runic things that you have on your hands. They're awesome. <laughs> really. <laughs> and nothing. Uh huh. <clears throat> I'm just gonna wink at chat. No one else can see why. Okay. <laughs> Right. What else have we got? Sponge Goth square hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> the Pig awesome. and Wildwood's got jokes today. Mm. <laughs> On fire, dude. On fire. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <sighs> so how are you doing, Chris? Chris wanted to do a live chat too, and we thought we did. Just... I had it loaded up, you guys. I had it loaded up, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, I want to go live, but. I don't know what to talk about. And if it's just you by yourself live and you don't have a topic, it's really boring because you're sitting <laughs> yeah. there like, okay, I'm gonna okay, wait. I can't, I can't have this. Uh, I think I was it, hung yeah. in a previous life because things around my neck that tight for too long, like I will start either getting aroused or like pass out, one or the other. No, just kidding. It, it makes me feel quite ill. <laughs> it makes me feel quite ill having things around my neck too tightly for too yeah. long. I, when I'm sick, I, I have to take my necklaces off. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Any other time, I'm fine. Well, we can chat about something else now, I guess, seeing as that, that didn't last very oh long. Is that anything um, anybody wants to chat about? Aroused. <laughs> <laughs> Balls. Yep. Nyo, nyo, nyo. <laughs> Balls. No. But anyway, no. So, like, I had um, that... Uh, pulled up and Joey's just like, hey, I'm about to go live. You want to, you want to, you want to come hang out? <laughs> you want to do something? You want, you want to hang out? <laughs> yes, please. Anything. Okay. <laughs> Anything. I will come and see you hold things up to camera just as long as we get to do something. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was like round two of what's in my background. Let's go guys. Yeah. <laughs> what's in my handbag? We could do that. My handbag's down there if people care what's in my uh, Mine's going to be really quick because, like, I keep my wallet and my keys and my phone with me, and that's it. <laughs> I so, don't carry a handbag. Is, oh, this is my 100-year-old phone because I don't care about <laughs> phones. Right? And then this is, I, my, this is my handbag. This is my nice goth hang handbag, handbag with all the pins all, all up there because I love my pins. Balls. We can talk about balls. I'm going to show you guys what's in my handbag because that's something people do on YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a purse. It's not very interesting. It's also 100 years old, but it's real leather, so it does kind of last. We have, this is probably the best bit. We have my keys, which have 8 million things on them. Oh, my God. So, nightmare. Yes, her. <laughs> And then we have a little skull and a little little pumpkin, a little bat, and a little red riding hood with a wolf because Halloween and I'm obsessed. And then we have two different <laughs> variants of Harley Quinn. A pink one and a black one because, you know, reasons. There you go. What else is in here? Oh, a Hello Kitty angel purse for my coins with little wings on the back because no goth no goth is complete without some hello kitty because you know balance <laughs> glasses i uh, oh glasses Hang on. oh but i'm not prepared i don't have mine oh, for wait. the librarian oh, wait for it for the librarian i just got shit we can it. talk about warcraft absolutely and we can talk about warcraft. uh Yes. We can talk about gaming. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, oh, we, we can, can talk about gaming a lot. Okay, so, <laughs> so the handbag. Let's talk about gaming. Let's talk about Dragon Age. Let's talk about Warcraft and Dragon Age. Let's do it. <laughs> Go, Chris. Do, do you play Warcraft, Chris? Or have you played Warcraft, Chris? Warcraft, no. I've played World of Warcraft. <laughs> I've played them all. I have, a, I have a friend that played Warcraft a lot. <laughs> so... Um, and, Warcraft, just Warcraft and Warcraft 2, they're um, real-time strategy games that sort of preceded mm -hmm. the MMO. The MMO is what most people know. Yeah. What realms are we on? Uh, oh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> is my main one. 
and it's completely gone out of my head. There's one. Okay, so I'm Horde, Duskwood, World of Warcraft. Uh, but also, what was the freaking Alliance one? There's one that I play with my brother on, and I can't remember it now because I haven't done it that often. <laughs> We're talking about video games now. We did the whole spooky box, yeah, now we're going to talk about game video games. Game. So I've always been Alliance, and the reason that I've always been Alliance is because my ex-boyfriend got me into playing Warcraft, and he was Alliance, and mm. he played a Draenei Shaman. And when I started playing, I wanted to play a mage, but I couldn't play a night elf mage at the time, so I played a human mage, and a human mage called Negates Dark is my main. And I have a night elf druid as my second. I've got a couple of couple of others, but those are the two that I really like. So yeah, I've played Warcraft for a long. I've played Warcraft since um, Burning Crusade. I'm a Burning Crusade. I was going to say baby. I started around Burning Crusade as well. Um, I started as Horde. I had. Um, some friends who were Alliance, um, but most of mine and my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, um, was Horde. He was an orc. And, uh, and so my first character, Kezva, was uh, a troll mage because I'm in love with the trolls. I feel like they don't get enough love. <laughs> they are fun. Also, yeah. you get to say, stay away from the voodoo. <laughs> and they got great laughs, man. Um, but, yeah. So And then after that, I had a um, a troll DK, and I have an orc warrior, and mm. like a bunch of them. I um, love the spellcasters more than anything. I love yeah, the spellcasters. I like, I like range DPS. That's my jam. Yeah, yeah, me too. And I'm usually the range DPS that's in the back keeping an eye on the healer. <laughs> I'm usually that one. <laughs> can, can, can we talk? Can we talk about Dragon Age? Can, can, yes. can we talk about? Can I don't we, understand can, why you're asking. Can we? Can we talk about Dragon Age now? Can we? Can, yeah, it's my live chat, and I'm like, can we? 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 You won this. Can we? <laughs> oh my god, I love Dragon Age so much. <gasps> so, so, who who in chat has played Dragon Age? I like Skyrim too, but Any Dragon Age. Skyrim is great. Oblivion is also great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Dragon Age won my heart the first time I played, like the, the very first one. And then ever since, oh every time it comes out, I'm like, <laughs> I'm about to go down the rabbit hole. Y'all ain't going to see me for a few months. So every, <laughs> every time I play Dragon Age, I end up in this, oh my God, I'm in love with a fictional character hole. Yes. Like, <laughs> like, like no, it's not good for you. Alistair in the first one, Fenris in the second one, and Cullen. Cullen. Okay, so I was with you. Like, Alistair in the first one, Fenris definitely in the second one for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the last one, I actually like Iron Bull. I do love Cullen, though. But. Oh, no. I just, Iron Bull's so freaking funny, and the fact <laughs> that he's Freddie Prince Jr. is, like, hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, in Skyrim, there is a triple moon goddess symbol on a potion alchemy shop. I can't remember what town it is. They have all sorts of really interesting um, goddess analogies in Skyrim that actually relate to real life spirituality. So this is kind of like an offshoot of me being silly with things. My, don't feel bad. My pixel boyfriend of Cl Cloud and Arthas. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've got a cuddly Cullen right there and a... Dorian right here. So it's in solitude. Oh, it's I have really them right here. <clears throat> yeah. On the inside. <laughs> so me and my sister have this outstanding joke with them. Um, particularly the second one, which is like suddenly Anders, because the thing that was really funny oh, about yeah. the second one <laughs> is everybody was expecting Anders to be just like Alistair. Anders is cray. Anders is like can't, stalker can't level cray. I can't. I can't deal with Anders. <laughs> I would. I would. I would drown in blood to keep you safe. Is the one that stands out about Anders from the second game. And the second game, if if you like have a night together, he wants to move in. 
<laughs> and if you yeah. say no, he hates you. <laughs> it's it's Anders is hilarious from uh, Dragon Age Two. It's he's, so funny. He's special kind of messed up. Spe special kind. Of, and there's this really funny meme that um. You know, with a, anybody who's seen Game of Thrones, spoiler warning, not for, uh, yeah, spoiler warning for last season. Cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. But there was this analogy where it was like, because Cersei blows up the Chantry and that's what Anders does in Skyrim. And so then people were like, don't go in there, it's a trap. And there's Anders stood outside the, ch outside the Chantry and it was amazing. It was so good. <laughs> Chris is eating Greek food, I believe. I have grape leaves. I'm muting it so you guys don't see me, but it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you gals are picking my interest in gaming, says the only real Tanya I love gaming. gaming I've always great. loved gaming. I grew up gaming. I grew up with an Amiga and, and then games on the PC. I grew up playing Tomb Raider. Um, one, oh, two, yeah. and three were really good um <clears throat> oh god even going back like pitfall and um i don't know man super mario and stuff like that on oh, yeah. when i was younger like all kinds of stuff but um dragon age got me because the fact that it has such like it has a lot of spiritual depth to it too and emotional depth yeah yeah emotional and spiritual depth but it still has a bunch of action like it's not just all talking mm -hmm. so but they did a really nice uh, balance Hifran asks, what did you think of the Morrigan character in Dragon Age then? Which so one? I guess that, I guess that, <laughs> right, okay. In Dragon Age 3, yes. they make her like anorexic and I'm like, what on earth did you do to Morrigan's they also, body and face? Yeah, <laughs> they also, I feel like they changed her personality a little bit. I yeah, really do. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't as spitfiery. Yeah. Um, My favorite all time, Flemeth, all the Flemeth, characters, Flemeth, Flemeth. all of them, is fucking Flemeth. Flemeth? <laughs> my Flemeth sister, yeah, my sister wants me to dress up like that. Yes. Flemeth is amazing. <laughs> and Captain Janeway does the voice of Flemeth as well, which is just added mm -hmm. like, oh my goodness. Uh, I quite like the, the new Tomb Raiders. They were okay-ish. But I tell you about the new Tomb Raiders. I hate the friggin', I don't know what you call them. They're like these cutscene things where you're just pressing one key and it's like live action sequences and you're like, press mm. A at this point, press B. And I'm like, what is this? This is not Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is when you're like figuring out the puzzles and things. Yeah. yeah. Baldur's no, Gate. Um, yeah, that's a good game. But to answer the Morrigan thing, I really liked her in the first one a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm, she was good in the, the second one was good like i didn't hate her or anything but she wasn't as wild as she was in the first one mm. i really liked the first one quick time events that's it thank you great leads oh. are my favorite the only uh -huh. thing about <laughs> <laughs> the thing about the whole morgan character from that though is that people get um people do bring up her image in terms of like this is the goddess morgan it's like no they just have they just have the same name it's just the yeah. same name. It's a Witch of the Wild. I mean, she does shapeshift, but... Um, I think that she was probably inspired. Maybe, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that maybe she was inspired by the Morrigan, mm. but I wouldn't call her the Morgan, no. necessarily. Or at least, like, not to me. Not as, as, like, my experiences with the Morrigan through friends and stuff, and, like, she'll mm. just come to me for messages for people sometimes. And... <laughs> What I've felt isn't Morrigan from DA. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's definitely elements in there. Whereas I, th I mean, I've talked about evolutionary um, spirituality anyway. That I think that sometimes the gods do like take on little bits of those. Um, oh yeah. Modern elements, just because it it gets them into modern consciousness, it gets them the myths we tell. Mm -hmm. I, I play Fable. Um, I love Fable Two. Fable Three, I didn't care for. Uh, but Fable 2 is amazing. And I've been playing Dishonored 2 and because Dishonored 1 is amazing. I, I did, that. like, I agree with you on Fable. Fable 1 was all right, but Fable 2 is what I really liked. Yeah, but then they went all industrial in the third one and I didn't like yeah. it. Yeah, it's weird. I also really like um, Mass Effect. That's one I haven't done. I haven't played Which Mass is slightly Effect. off of, like, the 
the medieval sort of fantasy stuff mm -hmm. and into the sci-fi, mm -hmm. which is not where I generally go. But I, I did like Mass Effect. It actually surprised me. I was watching my boyfriend play it a lot, and then I'm like, okay. I kind of like this. <laughs> oh, I think I'll get, yeah, that's oh, how yeah. it <laughs> Are there any Dishonored fans in the house? Because I'll show you something truly geeky if there's any Dishonored fans in the house. Any Dishonored fans in the house? If not, I'm not doing it. But if there is at least one, I'll show you something geeky. Very well. <clears throat> Y'all say something. I don't know about it, so I'm going to just eat my grapefruit. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> just me. I love Dishonored. My boyfriend, but he's in the shower. I enjoy Dishonored. Magpie well, does. Magpie does. Okay. All right, hang on. Because there's things on top of it. Jeez. Of course there is, because Chaos Virgo. Chaos Virgo in a nutshell. Right, hang on. <laughs> oh, this is what you get for not forward planning. It's the Dishonored mask. A bit shiny oh that's awesome but it's uh, a full-size mask that you get in dishonored there we go i love let's plays i like let's plays I i've honestly play. thought about doing let's plays so have i but i don't know that i don't know that i'd be funny enough whilst playing a video game well that is one thing that i know i got wisecracks <laughs> i just don't know if it'd be the games you guys want to see <laughs> so in case anybody missed it i'm a nerd <laughs> no <laughs> uh, i have played the old thief games oh i remember thief mm. oh, we liked thief that's a while back now though geez no. making me feel old guys <laughs> i played a lot of video games um I'm a video game nerd. I'm trying to think of some of the other things I've played. Um, I do quite enjoy platforming games from time to time, especially if the um, images are really pretty. I am a fan of D&D on tabletop. Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 especially. But I have played 2.0 and 4.0. I don't care for 4.0. <clears throat> Uh, I don't really play tabletop games because it's just me. So <laughs> that would be kind of like me by myself playing tabletop games. It's a bit sad, really. Well, actually, that's what, okay. So what happened, what had happened was when I had, um, when my brother left the house, uh, he left this giant duffel bag of 2.0 D&D stuff there. Like massive. And I started going through it and I was really young. I didn't know what the hell any of it was. And, um, and so I started trying to like play it with myself, like as if I was two people, like I was the DM and also the player and like walk through things. And that's how it started. And then like my husband played it a lot too in his friends with 3.5. And so we started doing that and then it just became a thing. <laughs> uh, I beg to differ. I have played Legend of Grimrock. Jake says that um, I probably haven't heard of Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2, but I have. I have them. I like them very much. Uh, so before we um, before we move on, someone asked me about um, what I mean by chaotic Virgo. So the, yeah. st the stereotype for Virgo is that Virgos are supposed to be like neat freaks. And they know where everything is and everything is organized. And I have never been like that. I'm far more chaotic. I'm, a, I'm more of an artist in temperament. So I know where everything is and don't like you to interfere my with my stuff. That's kind of a virgo -y trait, but it's chaos. Like I'm, I'm a chaos Virgo. So I know where everything is. I know where I left things. I, I have organized kind of, chaos. Yeah. But I'm not like stereo. You're like, you're like the Fibonacci sequence lady. Organized <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I am a chaotic Virgo. Can you and I have a chat about it? Yeah, send me a message on Facebook. Excuse me. 
Okay, I'll have you go tried call, calling and DM by me yet? No, Matthias, I've not tried that yet. But I'll look it up after this. I wouldn't mind if I had other people to teach me what was going on with D&D. I wouldn't mind giving it a go, but if it's just... I mean, I got you. We can we can do this thing via Hangout. We can try this shit. Okay. I trust you on your dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last video game I played was Pac-Man. Yes, Lateralis, <laughs> Willow, exactly. Um, Lateralis by Tool is done to the rhythm of the uh, Fibonacci sequence. It is amazing. <laughs> cool. I was actually talking to you about it like last week, something like that. Mm. You're asking me to remember things. <laughs> I know, right? Do I like Japanese RPGs? Um, okay. And Animal, Cross Animal Crossing was funny, but after a while I got fed up of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I do play a lot of um, 3DS games as well, though. I love Pokemon. So Japanese RPGs, not so much. Like I, I, I watch a lot of anime, so I guess that I kind of get, I don't really want all the Japanese anime tropes in my video games as well, because I'm like, I'm happy to sit and watch anime and I enjoy anime, especially really good anime, like Tokyo Ghoul. Oh. An XXX Holic and Hell Girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm weird with anime because everybody comes to me and they're like, So what's your favorite anime? Because they like assume because of my other likes that I am really into anime. You should watch Tokyo Ghoul because that's like dark gothic, quite violent. Okay, see, and that's the thing is like I'm really picky aesthetically. I think like I, I love think Akira. I, I yeah. love Angel Sanctuary because even though it's also kind of like pretty, it's still quite gothic. I think you'd like to um, Google. I think you would yeah. like it. I really enjoyed it. It's like, but I'm not much yeah. for like a lot of the like the super uh, kawaii, yeah, cutesy kind. Like I don't. I like both. I like. I we are. We're talking about pop culture and nerdy loves. That's what we're talking about. We are. Um, I enjoy both ends. So I do enjoy a bit of the light, lighter, sillier um, animes and. But Tokyo Ghoul is the one that recently, oh, and Noragami, I loved Noragami. Um, that was about, that, like, I'm in love with Noragami, the main character. He's I still, he's like a I god still, who is like a, a second rate god in the Japanese culture and people don't worship uh, him. So all the other gods look down on him and he like hangs out with humans and stuff. And he, ha oh, <laughs> and he's, he's so blase about everything. It's just, he's just amazing. But, um, yeah, I love Naragami. It's so good. Soul Eater is amazing. I liked Soul Eater. That was one that I did like. I didn't I was, expect to, but I really where, liked it. Where was the second season of Soul Eater? That's what I wanted to know. I was like, no, this was awesome. Actually, Soul Eater. She's consulting the bookshelf, guys. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. No! Oh! There you go. They're from Soul Eater. I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh! as much. <laughs> yeah, Naragami means stray god. Yeah. Uh, it's called Soul Eater Not, and it's not the same thing. <laughs> well, at least they were honest in the title then, I guess. <laughs> Um, and uh, Blue Alchemist, no, Blue Exorcist, that's quite good. It's the AO Exorcist, that's quite good as well for uh, anime. That was quite fun. I like it when they play with it and it's a little bit I fun. I also, but... like, I don't know how legit this is, but I also liked um, Witch Hunter Robin, personally, back in the day. Oh, and, and um, Hell Girl is really, really good. XXX Holic, which is. Hell Girl sounds vaguely familiar. Hell girl, like, hell girl you'd probably like because it's about people who are kind of like desperate and so they make deals with the hell girl in order to basically yeah, I'd probably like murder that. people and <laughs> it's, it's it's about it's very very dark and it it's the anime that has stayed with me because of how dark it is and i mean dark in terms of like morality 
so it like gets you questioning like the morality behind decisions and behind human human things so hell girl has stayed with me um perhaps more than any other anime like there are animes that i enjoyed better but hell girl has stayed with me like <sighs> dude like death and life and big decisions and vengeance and revenge and oh my goodness hell girl is is uh, amazing i highly recommend it and xxx holic i basically want to be that that witch i basically want to be that witch She's i still amazing. need to look up the one that bunny recommended the other day which one's the one that bunny recommended it had an insanely long name but something like magica in it oh the magica thingy yeah i know which one you mean and i can't remember the entire name that that will get you um you think it's a cute girl anime and suddenly it's not <laughs> yeah, I looked up stuff on YouTube some to, to see it, and I'm like, oh, okay. Because at first I'm like, I don't know about this man. And then I actually watched it, and I'm like, oh, all right, I might actually like this shit. <laughs> XXX Holic is so good. I want to be her. I want to be her. Apart from the cigarette, I would totally be her. She's so funny. I did like Ghost in the Shell. Did you see the movie? The new movie. I haven't seen the movie. Um, okay, so I have seen the new movie. Mm -hmm. And... I think it was kind of middle of the road for me. It was it was pretty good, um, and they stayed pretty close. That's it. That's the one that um, Chris meant. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and and the movie was pretty good, but I think all the controversy basically killed that movie, and it was kind mm. of it was kind of a shame um, that the controversy of whitewashing kind of killed that movie because all the rest of the characters and they kind of, they kind of explain it as well because originally the character was supposed to be a Japanese girl. And then they put her into a robot shell. So the robot shell is meant to be non-Japanese. So she's not human mm. anymore. So they kind of explain it like that, which is, you know. But the movie is pretty good. I mean, I enjoyed it enough. Um, it wasn't like as good as, say, the animated film. But my favorite part of Ghost in the Shell is you don't send a rabbit to kill a fox. Because I was like, of course they <laughs> <laughs> this is so good has everybody seen wonder woman yet i haven't seen wonder woman it's yet. good it's a good my husband and i were gonna go for our anniversary and see guardians of the galaxy 2 That's did not get out there <clears throat> because of other events transpiring uh-huh <laughs> at it like yep. rabbits is what yep. it's a what mm -hmm. Yes. In the dungeon. And that plus alcohol makes you forget how old you are until the next morning. <laughs> uh, the Wonder Woman movie is super <laughs> enjoyable and Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was super enjoyable as well. They're both really good movies. That's good. I was hoping because I really liked the first one, which always makes me nervous for the second one. <laughs> oh my god, Logan. Oh, Logan is mm. possibly the best. I still best. haven't seen that. Okay, Logan is possibly the one of the best comic book movies and po definitely the best X-Men movie that I have I have seen. Um Logan is deep, heavy, but really powerful, like really powerful stuff. So Wolverine was one of the first things I ever drew. Huh. <laughs> like his mask. Mm. Like the car the, the comic book style mm. mask. It was one of the first things that my brother ever taught me to taught me to draw. And I have this thing with Wolverine. Like, I've always loved Wolverine. So uh, one of the earliest comic book crushes I ever remember having was on Gambit. <laughs> I have a friend who named his oldest son Remington. Appropriate. Yeah, I I loved Gambit and his whole Cher thing because he called, he called Rogue Cher all the time. Cher, oh. They've 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 not done him very well in I, the movies. So. I pretty much wanted to be rogue. Not yeah, me too. I. Me too. <laughs> and then I grew this white stripe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange is a really quite interesting movie. Plus, you know, he can do no wrong, <laughs> Mister Cumberbitch. Um, <laughs> I love Mister Cumberbitch. He's so sexy. Um, but yeah. Uh, it was really good. I, that's another movie which suffered with whitewashing because of the because of the um, the master. But 
I think it it did really well. But you know, every time I say I see uh, Cumberbitch, I'm just like, you sexy Sherlock, you. <laughs> He's in everything as well, which is weird. He is. <laughs> he's in everything. Like, <laughs> that voice, he's it's the sexiest voice dragon I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> How many voice dragons have you heard, Joey? <laughs> Loads. Loads. There's, there's, there's Elegon movies with voice dragons in. There's the, 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 oh the Dragon gosh. movie. Marvel Netflix series. Yes. Which one? I've seen all of them, so which one do you want to talk about? Because, I mean, like, pretty much all of them as far as I'm aware. <laughs> uh, the Daredevil was really good. Um, Jessica Jones was amazing. I really Okay, I really Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. Okay. When I first thought, I was like, I can't look at this woman. She looks like a rat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's really mean, but you ever <laughs> see, like... Like I'm the same way with Kira Knightley. There's something about how her oh, mouth no. is that I'm like so no. fixated that I can't unsee. And I'm like, you're being a shallow fuck right now, Chris. Would you stop <laughs> this? But I can't. I can't stop. <laughs> and that's how I felt with her at first. So it took me a little bit to like get into the actual story of what was going on because I would walk in on my husband watching it. And so finally, I actually sat down and watched one and I love it. Jessica Jones is great. Mm. The only thing I will say about Jessica Jones is I wish they had made it more obvious that she's suffering with PTSD. Like, I don't mm, think they made it yeah. obvious enough that that's what's going on. And then she had, like, um, David Tennant as the purple man. It was the, oh, he had you kind of almost rooting for him at points. And that's a sign of a good villain in Jessica Iron Jones. Iron Fist is another one where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I really like Iron Fist. Like, Iron Fist got smashed by a lot of a lot of people hate yeah. it. I didn't mind I it. I think I think <sighs> Netflix is going to do The Witcher. Really? Oh wow! Don't I'm get down. me started, Rebecca. The Punisher is my all-time favorite comic book character. The anti-hero of all anti-heroes. He's getting his own series. Laysai. Um. However, Dolph Lundgren will always be the Punisher to me. No matter how many versions there are. Him fighting the Yakuza. <laughs> so the thing about Iron Fist that I will say is um, that I think the fight scenes were rushed and the choreography was rushed because it could have been better. Um, hmm. And they had, they had said that basically they didn't leave enough production time. So I noticed that the fights weren't as connective. Um, but yeah. I really liked the characters in Iron Fist. I thought they... Particularly, like, the supporting characters were really good. Um, I en I enjoyed Luke Cage. I thought that was interesting. Um, but I felt a bit weird about Luke Cage because there were all these, like, people coming out that said, you know, it was kind of like an, a racist thing against people who weren't black watching it. And I was like, but, mm. but okay. And I, I, ca I came into contact with all this hostility from people who were expecting all white people to hate Luke Cage because of the overarching, the black cast. And I was like, no, I thought it was interesting and dynamic. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm not entirely sure where all this hostility I liked is him coming as Luke from. Cage, honestly. He's very good as a character. I thought he did a really good job with the role. Yeah. Um, have I missed any Netflix? We talked about Daredevil. Dad. <laughs> Daredevil. <laughs> Matt. Matt Murdock. Well, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I didn't really see the Daredevil one, I don't think. Like, I saw a few episodes, but I never really? sat down and watched all of it. So, um, The Witcher will be based more on the books and the game. The author will have. I will be in like a fat kid on cake for The Witcher on Netflix. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love The Witcher, by the way. And we talked about video games, completely forgot to mention I have played all The Witcher games and I love them. Yeah. Love them. Um, but there's a lot of video games we didn't talk about, to be honest. Well, yeah. I can't believe like, I completely forgot The Witcher, though, because that's like one of my favorite games. Doctor Strange mixes magic and science. I think that's why it's good. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Not, not Cumberbitch, then. Admit it. 
admit that you love him. <laughs> Chris has a serious thought. Either that or she's choking. I'm trying to remember the name of this damn movie. It had Dr. Manhattan in it. Watchmen. Thank you. I'm like, what the fuck is the name? You know how like you're like, I know this, but it's just, it's floating in the air somewhere out there. I really, really, really like The Watchmen. And Dr. Manhattan is another one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my favorite bit of Watchmen. <laughs> It, it was it was a much darker comic book movie, Watchmen, but then it was that's the tone of the comic anyway. What do you think of Gotham? I okay. I have a love hate relationship with Gotham because mm -hmm. sometimes Gotham is amazing, and it's like that's really interesting. That's really unique. Their Jerome character for Joker was fantastic. Um, yep. They 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 like did him so well, but then like I really don't care for their Catwoman character. Um, she's all over the place. She's she's not she's not what I would want from Catwoman. The girl who's actually Catwoman or like Fish now. Fish Mooney is kind of like her place in it, if you will. Oh, I hate Fish Mooney. I hate Fish Mooney <laughs> so much. Don't even get me started. Fish Mooney can jump off. Yeah, no. Um, but I the, like the penguin. The penguin is so good. I think That's, he did really well. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the Riddler, I'm on the fence because... Yeah, I'm not sure yet. He, how much have you watched? Are you up to date? Because I've just finished. Um, almost as far as I know, I should be up to date now. I haven't watched the last. The last I saw, movie. those two were in a cage, a cage next to each other. Right, yeah, to so escape. fairly up to date. Okay. So the Riddler up until <laughs> to, to the point where they made him like crazy, uh, was really interesting to me. But mm. I really wish they'd done the gay relationship. They missed yeah. such an opportunity of like the penguin and the Riddler and it growing into a romance and then them falling out and that's why they they're at each other's throats. That would have been so much more weight to it in my mind rather than oh he killed the girlfriend. Spoilers. Yeah, sorry, but um, yeah, there's all kinds of spoilers. In there. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, hard to talk about without doing that though. Yeah, um, Jim Gordon is a character that i'm like on the fence with but lee i <laughs> wish would die go away okay, lee. so so my husband and i will be watching gotham right and jim gordon will be saying something and i'll just repeat it after him in this tone <laughs> pretty much yeah did you get the papers yet <laughs> like who did, does he know that he's not batman <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what about the first season of gotham <laughs> they did these running shots that made me feel sick and they were like in front of the in front of the people running and they were jiggling the camera and i was like never do that again gotham because that was awful never do it and they've never done it again so i'm guessing enough people were like no they got the memo they were like joey yeah. morris says don't do this stop <laughs> it guys <laughs> yeah so i liked that gotham um my husband and i watch a lot of like justice league young justice stuff like that now because it's it's on there. Like we don't actually have cable. We just have Hulu and Netflix and watch it a lot. Mm. <laughs> that and streaming. Flash. I haven't seen Flash. The TV I've seen that's... Flash. Um. My husband really really loves it. I am on the fence. Mm. I love it sometimes, and then Sense there's other episodes where I'm like, meh. Sense eight got cancelled. They cancelled Wolfgang. Sense eight got cancelled. I am heartbroken. I loved that show. I loved it. Oh my god, originals, shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut it. Just Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris likes the psychopaths. Yes, I do. Have yes. you met my husband? He's a Sagittarius Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Rising. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> they cancelled Sensei, and I was absolutely heartbroken because mm. Sensei was pushing the boundaries. I loved the characters in Sensei. The the all the um, gay characters were done with respect. 
real respect and they had really beautiful relationships which i really loved um both and and they had like a transgender character and it was handled mm -hmm. beautifully and it was mm -hmm. it there wasn't any of and any of the normal kind of tropiness that you sometimes get with it it was just beautiful. yeah um do you Sensei know it was so good do you know what show i haven't seen and people will take my witch card over Ooh. american horror story well the first three seasons of american horror story were really good after that i i tried to watch all the ones since and have got mm. fed up with each one of them halfway through and like given really? up and that was true for freak show that was true for the the new one the road ronaki one and the and the hotel one i just i did enjoy gaga in the hotel one but the story wasn't enough for me but the first one was amazing the second one was really good the third one was coven which i kind of wish they'd done two seasons because they had too many storylines in it but i loved the overarching get yourself to the craft right now magpie the craft is amazing i you've never seen the craft all right Look, you guys can take my witch card for the other, but you, you need to see the crap. Coven was good, except they confused Baron Samdai with Papa Legba. From However, my favorite witchy movie of all time is Practical Magic. I have watched that thing thousands no, of times. I, I don't even think I'm exaggerating at this so, point. No, no. That, no, the love story in, in Practical Magic makes me cry every... You know the bit in the, that movie where she's lost her husband and she's under the sheets and her sister comes yeah. back and she says we were really really happy and then breaks down that yeah. makes me cry every it doesn't matter how many mm. times i've seen that movie when she breaks down because she's lost her husband at that point i cry every when i sing that Joni mitchell time. song i have to try and do a high note that's not really there like Nicole Kidman <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah Practical Magic was awesome. I wanted their hair. I wanted their clothes. The house was gorgeous. Oh, the house, yeah. And the town that they grew up in looks very, very similar to the town that I grew up in. Oh, like that seashore quaint thing with the little shops. Yeah. That looks like where I grew up. So I was like, I want to be Sally Owens. <laughs> well, it, the relationship between the two sisters kind of reminded me of me and my sister because I mm. would have been the Sally and she would have, um, because she had red hair as well and I had the dark hair. Yeah. And the, the the relationship between me and her was fairly similar-ish to that. So there was there was an added layer there that it kind of reminded of me of me and my sister. Um, but I think that the ants stole the show. Oh yeah. Because fucking Stalker Channing is a badass. <laughs> yes. I actually shared a practical magic quote today on, on the Story Yard Facebook page about being normal. Oh. One of my favorite quotes. No, it rather denotes a lack of courage. Exactly. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Mm. I could actually quote so much of that movie, it's scary. It's like, you see right? this couple here, he's having an affair with a babysitter and she can eat a pound cake in under a minute. That's I, a want him to love me. I want him to love me until he can't stand it. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. I hope I never fall in love. I hope I never fall in love. I can't wait to fall in love. Scene. <laughs> yep. And finish. And, and <laughs> scene. Mm. The, the Craft was a, a, another movie that really sat with me though like it, i saw it when i was yeah. 12 i think and it stayed with me it stayed with me a lot of i wanted to be the shop owner that's who i wanted yeah. to be um i was like i want my own witchy store and i want like a little ritual place in the back and i want to be like all like do you know about magic and i'm kind of there i'm kind of there now <laughs> i wanted nancy's wardrobe oh yeah <laughs> um but I didn't want her life. No. Because I don't think I could listen to a jukebox of Connie Francis all day. No. <laughs> we used to reproduce the rituals when we were teenagers. I th everybody. Why is the feather uh, stiff the board? Yeah. Why is the feather stiff everybody, the board? Everybody must have tried that with their teenage teenage friends at some point. The light is a feather stiff mm. the board thing. Everybody must have tried that. Or to try the glamour where you change your eye color. My eyes change with her themselves. I only need some weird lighting and then you start glowing a different color. 
Oh. <gasps> I can leave. Never. What? What? Never. What? What? Why? What? Because Chris hasn't seen the craft. No, Chris has seen the craft. Chris. Oh. I've seen the craft. Why can Chris leave? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> what happens in the craft? Uh, the craft is basically um, a natural born witch moves into a town and there are three other witches and it all goes mm. dark quite quickly. They play with the mythos, yes. but um, it's worth noting that um, the actress whose name I can never pronounce, who played Nancy, actually got into witchcraft as a result of the movie. Mm. Oh, it's because I haven't seen uh, American Horror Story. Ah, uh, yeah. Coven coven i wish they'd done it in two seasons because i think they tried to shove too much storyline into one season and they lost it a bit um like they they did the supreme thing and they did like the witch wars and i don't think the witch wars was given enough time and gravitas um and like the, the witch hunters were barely in it and i was like the witch hunters could have been a really interesting thing that yeah she does um feruza feruza i can't ever pronounce oh name. my god feruza bulk yeah. Feruza means turquoise. They named her that after her eye color. She owns an occult She's store. Persian. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Rochelle, the woman who played Rochelle, I don't remember her name now. Mm -hmm. Um, she does tarot readings and stuff today. Mm -hmm. She has an Instagram where she talks about it. Right, my darlings, I have probably best get off because I've just seen the time. So thank you for joining me and Chris. Um, I'm going to wrap up now. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us um, and unboxing some bits and chatting about some nerdy things and just uh, having a general chat with you guys. It's always fun. I like it. So I think maybe we'll do this as a, as a um, live hangout more often because it's kind of fun getting yeah, you guys fun. perspective on things. I've been told I have to tell everybody to stay true today. So that's how I'm signing off today. The one with the burns is Nev Campbell. Just saying. <laughs> I fucked up your sign off. Sorry. <clears throat> you did a little bit. I was I was trying. <laughs> I've been told what I, what I I have to say, and uh, I did. So there you go. So just stay awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody do that thing. Ah, uh, love your faces. Thanks for having me on, Joey. It was fun. Just like hanging, around and chatting. Yeah. Cool. Love you guys. See you on the next one. See you on Thursday. Bye, guys. Bye.